Hi everyone, uh, Mike Smith here. I'm going to um, demonstrate and test this new voltage card circuit board that I've um, just purchased online. Um, and uh, just, uh, just to show how it's used, but also just to check that it's working properly. So on the right I've got my power supply here. Um, this is a, a nice easy to control power supply. I've got 50 volts to play with, but the uh, output power is uh, set at 12 volts. And I have uh, I've, I've just turned that off, so it's not it's not supplying power to the board at the moment. And uh, so this power supply is going in over here, um, and then it'll come out over here um, and into my load here. There's a little, there's a little light on. So uh, so uh, yep, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to turn on the power. All right, as you can see, the light works. So I'm just going to um, move that, point that out of the way here so we can actually see these displays. Okay, so everything's working well as indicated by this blue light. Blue light means all is well. Um, and so I've got uh, just under 12 volts coming out of my power supply here and 11.98 volts. And on the circuit board here, you've got a display um, that that first Digit is, is actually the letter N. The LED at the bottom there is not broken. It's actually an N. N for normal. Normal operation. So it's detecting 11.9 volts coming in. Um, as you can see, it's actually uh, receiving 11.98 volts, but it seems to be truncating down. And you'll see how that works in a moment. So, um, so the circuit board is working okay for now. What we're going to do is just check the settings, and those settings are controlled by these four switches over here. So I'll demonstrate that next. Okay, so the idea with this circuit board is uh, with your input voltage uh, coming in here, let's say that's coming from your car vehicle battery, um, and you want that to operate between a certain voltage range. So that, for example, if your car battery is uh, running low on voltage, um, and you have auxiliary devices such as a camp fridge or other devices that are drawing power from that battery, um, it will disconnect below a certain threshold voltage and then reconnect again after another threshold voltage. And that voltage is um, going to be displayed here as we use these controls to set. Um, so this first, uh, this first button here is the um, high voltage set. In other words, when the power comes back on after it's been disconnected. And this is the low voltage set, this switch here, which means that's the voltage at which falling voltage will cut out the, uh, the, uh, the load supply over here. Okay, so we'll have a look at that now. Right, so let's look at the, uh, the, uh, the low voltage first. Now this is uh, set to factory settings. Uh, so we can check those settings by just pressing the uh, low voltage set button and the high voltage set button here. These other two buttons are your um, controls, so uh, increase and decrease. You can see that by the plus and minus over here. Okay, so I'll just press the low set button and just watch the display up there. Okay, you can see that uh, first um, uh, placeholder there is uh, changed to an L to indicate that we're looking at the low voltage setting. And it's set at 10.4 uh, volts. So that's the factory setting. So effectively what happens is that if your battery voltage coming in here uh, falls below that voltage or actually to that voltage, then your output um, supply there will actually be cut. Yep, uh, which is, uh, which is, that's a fairly standard setting. But um, for me, I actually think it's a bit too low. Um, so I, I, want, I want to uh, set that a bit higher later on. Okay, now the other thing is, if I just press this low set button one more time, it comes up with a D and then a 0, 2, 0. And that D um, is for delay. And that's set to 20 seconds at the moment. So what happens is, okay, so let's get back to there. What happens is, as the falling voltage um, reaches or passes 10.4 volts, it has to stay there below that threshold for 20 seconds, and then this circuit board will do something. Um, okay, so there's a delay as well. So you can set the voltage threshold as well as the delay. Okay, uh, so now let's have a look at the high setting. So as I said here, these are the uh, factory settings. Um, H for high, and that's set at 14.4 volts. 
In other words, the, uh, the input voltage here has to rise to 14.4 volts before this circuit board will allow current to go through to our load again. Um, and uh, it, it also has a delay. In this case, the delay is set to 10 seconds. These are the factory settings. Okay, so cut out at 10.4 uh, volts after 20 seconds and uh, restore at 14.4 volts after 10 seconds, just like that. Okay, now next we'll, um, we'll just discuss what that means and also have a look at how we can set those levels. Uh, now the, um, the low voltage uh, setting 10.4 seems to be a fairly standard voltage uh, for cutouts. So for example, a lot of the camp fridges um, are set at 10.4 volts. Um, and the, um, the uh, high voltage threshold, 14.4, what that would mean is that your car engine would need to be running to get anywhere near that voltage. In fact, I think it's a bit too high. Um, so, so really, the way that the factory settings are set up here is that it, um, it's quite happy for you to run your camp fridge off your battery until your main battery falls down to 10.4 volts, and then it will not allow you to reconnect your battery, so your camp fridge to your battery, until your car is actually running. That's effectively what these factory settings um, have. But I'm going to re, I'm going to re, uh, re just adju adjust those settings. Okay. Right now, what I want to do is I want this to operate at um, uh, w uh, with the high voltage setting to be at say 13 volts because I think that's a, a more reasonable voltage. So. That's the voltage at which, um, you know, the camp fridge in this case, for example, would um, uh, would be given power again through this output circuit here. So um, here I am with the high voltage. Well, actually, I'll just go back to the normal display. So normally the display would indicate the input voltage coming in here. So that's N for normal, 11.9 volts coming in, as you can see over here. So I want to set the high voltage threshold. So I press that button, so H is displayed, and now I'm just going to use these up and down keys to set my voltage. So I'm going to bring that down to 13.0 volts, okay? And the, if I press the high button again, it's going to allow me to set the delay, 10 seconds. I'm going to increase that to uh, quite a bit, actually. I'm going to increase it to... I think my maximum is 35 seconds, but I'm going to increase it to 30 seconds there. Then press the high again, and there we are. Back to the normal display, so let's just check that. The high threshold is set at 13.0 volts after 30 seconds. Done. Okay, um, low voltage is very similar. I'm going to set that to 12 volts, not 10.4. So at the moment it's set to 10.4. I'm going to increase that to 12, and I'll explain why a little bit later. So work that up to 12 um, with a delay 20 seconds. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So there I am. I'll just set that. I'll check that setting again. Low voltage 12 volts after 20 seconds delay. Done. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, test to see that all of this works by playing with our input voltage here. Ah, and uh, as you can see, it's actually gone into a warning mode here because that's below our threshold. But I'm going to stop the video and uh, and just set this up properly. Oh, um, sorry, what I'm going to do, in fact, is I'm going to set these delays uh, just for the purposes of this video to a bit of a shorter time so we don't have to wait quite so long. So the um, uh, high setting delay, I'm going to bring that back down. Now the reason I had it set so high is because I want the car to have, you know, uh, a good 30 seconds of running before it has to retake the load of, of, uh, of whatever I've got running. For example, a cam fridge, but I might also have an inverter connected to this. So high voltage set at 13 um, for five seconds. Okay, that's just for the purposes of this video. Okay, fine. Low voltage, set at 12, um, and I'll bring that down to 5 seconds as well. Otherwise, the beep is going to drive you insane. Um, 5 seconds, done. Okay, so for the purpose just of this video, 
um, 12, 5 seconds, and 13, 5 seconds. Now, um, because, uh, okay, so my input voltage now is 13.17, so it should be totally fine. That's above above the low voltage threshold. And, oh, okay, back to normal. Uh, it's above the low voltage threshold, so everything's happy, everything's working. Got my blue light and my light and my, my load light over here is on as well. Okay, so now let's test it. Okay, so now let's take our input voltage. Just bear with me here. I'm going to take my input voltage down. Um, as you can see, um, this display is showing the uh, the output voltage from uh, my power supply, and this is showing um, what this circuit board is uh, detecting. So these two should match, but you notice it's truncated. That says 12.87, and this one says 12.8. That becomes important in a moment. All right, so let's reduce it. What was my threshold? My threshold was 12. Okay, so we're just above that now, 12.1. What I want you to do is just uh, observe that blue light there um, as I go down below 12. So I'll go down to 11.9. Okay, so now you can see the blue light's flashing. That's indicating that something is not right. It's now in the delay zone. So in a few seconds, this alarm's going to go. I had it set for five seconds, so that should come on. Yeah, okay, there it goes. So now the light's gone to red, and um, it's uh, the alarm's beeping. And I've put a bit of uh, blue tech over that because it's a really loud alarm. I suppose it's designed to be in a vehicle. I haven't found a way yet of um, um, actually disabling the alarm, which is something that I need to find out about because I don't always want the alarm to come on. In any case, you can see that my light has gone out over there as well. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the voltage back up again. And uh, what did I set the um, uh, high voltage for 13 volts? Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so I'm just going to set my, bring my voltage up. 12 points. So it's over the um, low voltage threshold, but nothing is going to happen here. I've actually got to hit the high voltage threshold. So bringing the voltage up here, 12.7, 12 12.8, 12 12.9, 12 13.0. Okay, and now the blue light comes back on after five seconds. And you'll notice that within that five second period, the red light was flashing. So, so that's all working. Coming, um, um, Okay, the power coming in from here is actually being controlled on the output side here by the incoming voltage, and that is accurately set by these controls. So that's working fine. The only thing that I'm just a bit unsure about is um, this this uh, audible alarm here might become a little bit annoying after a while. Um, well, I've got a bit of blue tech there. That should be okay for now. All right, so I'm pretty happy. And what I would do um, is these output wires here, I'm going to send them to a solenoid rather than directly to the load as I've got right now because that output there is limited to 10 amps, which is okay for a little light, but borderline for a fridge because as my fridge cuts in momentarily, that, uh, that current for my fridge would uh, possibly exceed 10 amps for a few seconds. And if I've got anything bigger than that, like a few lights going, the fridge, as well as an inverter, then that output voltage is actually going to be significantly more than 10 amps. So what I want to do is use that output there to control the solenoid, which then in turn controls high current direct from the battery. Okay, so I'm happy that's working. Thanks for watching.